Look, it's snowing! There is something magical about snow. Snowflakes are gracefully falling from the sky and everything looks beautiful. Wait, what? Everything looks beautiful? There must be something wrong here. Isn't there supposed to be spring? What the hell is happening? Let's try this again. It's a beautiful spring day in the city. The sun is shining and some of the trees are already starting to blossom. They are so pretty. So of course we couldn't just stay at home and we decided to go for a run. It's convenient in the area where we live because we are not far from nature. There are little gardens or allotments along the way and you can see people enjoying their land after winter. After 10 minutes of running we are in the forest. We go for a run regularly, but in winter less than in the warmer half of the year. It's not that much fun when it's cold, the wind is blowing and everywhere it's muddy. But once the sun starts shining more, it's like a calling that lures us out. And when the grey overcast days are over, the calling is the loudest. We need to soak in the energy and warmth that comes from the sun. Our route is quite hilly, so sometimes we are a bit out of breath. But just very rarely, of course. There are nice views and from the forest we get into the fields. It's nice when the landscape changes along the route. There is a local airport for small planes, mainly sail planes, and on nice days like this one it is used quite often. We made a little stop on our run because there is this unique place with these beautiful violet flowers. They are very rare and endangered. They are called the European Pask flower or something like that and they don't exist in North America. So most of you guys probably don't know it. This is not crocus. And it's so beautiful. Today is such warm weather. It's 20 degrees Celsius, but throughout the week it should get very cold. The winter is coming again. So we'll see what's going to happen, but we wanted to enjoy this beautiful day before it's over <laughs> because spring is not here to stay yet. You can see there are not many colors yet in the landscape but there are these little treasures flowers popping up and it's so beautiful such a nice time of the year. Yeah it's starting. Yeah. And it's so pleasant. The wind is not blowing and it's sunny. I really like it. But I can't enjoy it for too long because I have to return back to work. Yeah, we are on Tommy's lunch break. As always. And there is not much time. So sad. Tommy has a call with a customer. Yeah. So that's important. Yeah, so maybe I will keep Peter here so that he can enjoy it for longer. And I will return back home by myself. Yeah. I'd like that. <laughs> I want to stay because it's beautiful. I it love is. it. I have a night shift in the evening, so that's why I don't have to hurry home now. Hey. <laughs> what if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.
What I love about this place is the fact that it's not very popular. There is one more location with these flowers in Brno. That one is much more popular. So it's great for us because it seems like no one has discovered this area yet. So it's amazing. It's great to enjoy such beautiful places without crowds. I really don't want the weather to get colder again, <laughs> but it will happen, sadly. The probability is almost 100% now, so yeah, it doesn't look good. But at least there is some precipitation in the forecast. It should be raining, maybe even snowing, we'll see. But yeah, it's very dry, so the precipitation is needed. Time to run home. I really like the area. It's very nice to go for a run here. And look at all the wildlife. It's so pretty everywhere. All the little flowers growing. This time we ran 9.5 kilometers, which is a bit longer than we normally run. On such nice days, it's a joy to go longer and just breathe the spring air. More people are outside now. Everyone wants to feel the sun on their faces. And I'm almost back home. Let's enjoy this beauty for a bit longer and then we'll take a look at what was going on at the country house a few days later. We had a new delivery and again more plants. <laughs> so many of them. Yeah, 35. Ooh. It's the cherry laurels we were talking about that we wanted to plant as a hedge. So it came much sooner than I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. But don't worry, Peter promised that this time we wouldn't film all the planting because we don't want to show you the same thing over and over again. So after the cut you will see the whole thing planted already. Yeah, hopefully this will be a success and hopefully I will be able not to film everything. <laughs> That's always my problem. These shrubs look quite unusual. Yeah, they are evergreen. They kind of look like something you would have indoors in our climate. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. We don't have anything like this on our property. Yeah. So tell us more about them, honey. Uh, I don't know. They are called cherry laurels, apparently. They are related to cherries and plums. Which uh, I would never have guessed. And they should grow to be two to four meters tall. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll plant them 50 centimeters apart from each other to create a thick hedge. Yeah. We managed to plant five plants before Peter asked me to film him. Guys, it's not going. I wanted to show you this. This is what I have to work with. <laughs> Under these trees, it's a nightmare to dig holes. The ground, the soil is quite hard. So, yeah, I had a winter jacket and a sweater. That's all gone now because I'm so warm and I hate it here. Yeah. Oh my god. So this hole digging session is definitely not the best. But you're doing a great job. I am. That's always <laughs> me. <laughs> but I don't like it at all. Luckily the laurels are quite small. You know, look. They have just a very small pot, so the hole doesn't have to be 
very big so I mm -hmm. like that but even such small holes are not easy and we need more of them than usual yes countless <laughs> of laurels so 35 not countless that's countless for me okay so let's continue and hopefully there will be a cut and everything will be done not yet first I will let you enjoy this evening ambience in the garden the sound of all the birds chirping is very relaxing. We were planting until dark and I'm really happy we finished the whole thing. All the shrubs, all the cherry laurels are planted successfully and out of nowhere it's cold again. So I'm glad we finished it when it was still at least relatively warm. Yeah. And here they are. They are so tiny but it's so nice to have something evergreen here. So out of nowhere we have greenery. Yeah. More greenery here. It looks a bit out of place now, <laughs> but in a few years, hopefully, it will be big and it will look normal. Yeah, especially here under the trees. You might be wondering what we are doing, <laughs> planting it here. But we wanted a hedge along the whole fence and maybe eventually we will remove some of the branches or something. We don't know yet. Yeah, there is still time because the shrubs are very small, so they will not grow into the tree anytime soon. Yeah, it'll take a few years to get here. Yeah. Look at our forsythia, or as we call it, golden rain. It looks quite pretty, or it's starting to look pretty. We haven't pruned it yet since we bought this property, and it doesn't look good on this side, because I don't know it's heavy or something so we will need to do it but for now it's like a barrier between the garden and that part of the property so I quite like it but we need to shape it in the future so it looks better mm -hmm. yeah we like to hide behind our golden rain yeah <laughs> and it's snowing just a little bit maybe you can't even see it on the camera but it's here so winter is back i guess <laughs> and look i wanted to enjoy these tulips there are so many of them but they are closed for days now it's fascinating that just a week ago we were on a run in our shorts and it was totally warm and now this what say you, honey? <laughs> I remember you were afraid you'd get sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> but not today. No, definitely not. It's so cold, I hate it. It's one degree Celsius or something like that. So I need to warm up. I was looking for movement <laughs> and I found this dead branch. So let's get rid of it. <laughs> So warm, no. 
not yet. So this one as well. So this one is hard to access. Peter will cut the whole tree before he's warm. Ta-da! And I'm warm. Nice. Yeah. We continued doing more work. There are these unwanted trees that like to take roots almost in the wall of our barn, so we got rid of them. We were thinking that we could maybe use them as a temporary support to other trees or something like that. We'll see. <laughs> and in the meantime, the snowfall was getting stronger and stronger. We were enjoying our time inside and then I looked out of the window and I realized we traveled back in time because we are now in February again. So this is amazing. Yay. No, not amazing. No one likes this. No one wants this anymore. I don't know why this keeps happening. So yeah, voila. So it's here. Winter doesn't want to let go. It's fighting to stay in power. It wants to rule longer, even when it knows its time is coming to an end. It's inevitable. And it's okay. This fight happens almost every year. But the winner is already known before the fight even started. My second attempt at strudel. It was delicious. And that's not all. I made sure I enjoyed the snow to the fullest. 